Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Vineet and today we will learn how to create page slip generator using Python. We will be teaching you both the ways that is console based and ticketed that is GUI based. So let's get started. So recently we got this requirement of creating this page slip console based application. So uh, this was the question in that. So let me show you how the uh, CLI based application will look like. This is how it will look like. So in this employee has to enter their name, the rate per hour and the duty like number of hours they are working and then the SS contribution, PHIL health and housing loans. So all, when, once all these information has been filled, the, uh, the entire thing will be generated automatic. So in this you can see the employee information is mentioned and the deductions at the end the net salary that is the in hand salary for the employee is generated now let's see the same application in GUI so this is how it will look like uh, when we will create it using tkinter so this is the form so once the form has been filled you can click on the calculate button it will generate this kind of interface now if you will click on the clear button it will clear all the entry boxes and exit will close the program similar thing uh, it will do, do over here Close will close this window only, it won't close the entire program, it will just close the this window, this close. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and learn how we can create this application. And before we start, just wanted to inform you, all the source code that we are going to use in this pro project, uh, in this video is already available on our website, the link is in the description box. Visit the link and you, you will be able to uh, see everything that we have explained so far and whatever things we are going to explain. Uh, in further video so you can copy the source code and you can use it okay now let's jump to my favorite code editor that is vs code to explain you how the code works so first of all i am going through with the uh, cli part that is the command line one uh, or you can say the console one so here uh, we have created a variable in which we are taking the user input since the input is a string like employee's name so we are we are accepting it, it as it is the input function uh, whatever the information is stored in the input function is in a string data type and we want the information in a string that's why we are not changing it on the other hand uh, rate per hour we want this information in a float as per the requirement mentioned uh, so we want it in a float format float data type so we have mentioned the float over here and then input and then the name uh, like the message that we want to display similar thing we have done with all the uh, other data type all the other options now once we did that this is the uh, message that you are seeing while running the program so let me run the program so that you can see this so it is asking for the name so let me enter my name rate per hour that means uh, let's say 91 91 per hour and duty that is number of hours i have worked in a day that means uh, let's say let's give it eight ss contribution you can give any value it is uh, decided by the hr team phil health let me give it 115 housing loan 117 now you can see the information has been generated over here and here is my net salary that the salary that I am going to get in my hand. So now let's see how how it has been uh, created over here. So this is the formula that we are using and the same formula ha was provided in the requirement uh, requirement sheet. So uh, first of all we have to find the gross salary. Gross salary is the uh, rate per hour multiplied by uh, number of hours the person or an employee work. Then the tax. So tax is the 10% of the uh, gross value so whatever the gross value has been generated over here we have applied a 10 percent on that then the deductions total deductions will be the s3 stands for a triple s contribution and then the phil health loan and tax these all information has been uh, has to be uh, if we combine all these information it becomes the total deduction that has to be uh, deducted from the gross salary so whatever the amount was for the gross salary uh, deducting the total uh, deductions will give us the net salary so this is the formula we have used and uh, to display the information we have used with the formatted string uh, you can see the curly braces this means it's a variable it's a variable so this is how we have displayed the information using the CLI now let's go ahead and see how how we have done the same thing using the Python tkinter that's a GUI based so first thing first we have to import the uh, import everything from the tkinter module and then we have uh, also created one module over here uh, let me explain that module first so this is the mo uh, this is the module that we have created 
created and inside this module we have created this function uh, with the name payslip it accepts the employee name uh, duty hours the date all of these things will be clear when when we will be explaining the main.py so actually this is in this we have used the place geometry ma uh, geometry manager so what it does it allows us to put the value on exactly on the screen wherever we want to so uh, like if i am placing my mouse cursor over here so there will be some kind some kind of uh, x and y value for this one so this is how we can place it to an exact we can place our widgets to an exact place that where we want in the end we have placed a button in that so basically what it this formula is doing it is accepting the parameters and it is displaying the information that's it now when, once this formula is being used in this uh, main dot pi let's see where it has been used so first thing we have created an instance of the object of uh, tick enter and we have named it as ws i call it as a workspace then we have provided a title that is python guides then the pay slip generator then the geometry geometry is the size of uh, height and width uh, that we see uh, of the uh, window it is a window size so this is the um, this is the width and this is the height now we have provided a font we don't require actually this code i'm sorry i have not removed it earlier now this is a clear button that we have uh, created uh, like this is the emp number it's a entry box variable name and we have applied delete on that zero means the start point and end means the uh, last character of the moving forward we have the uh, main that is the main function so first of all what we have done we have uh, fetched the value from the entry boxes so we have created the uh, gui you can see these are the labels so whatever uh, information you are seeing before like on the left side of the entry box are these labels so employee name rate per hour duty so here uh, here are the here is the entry box so this is the variable name i have provided to this entry box and i have placed it inside the main frame main frame is another uh, frame it's it becomes easy it become easy if you put every all the widgets in the same frame like some kind of frame so if you have to move them to the left or right uh, it becomes easy you just need to move the frame and then here we are using the grid uh, grid placement um, like a geometry manager so grid allows us to uh, store the value values in a row and uh, column format so it starts from the uh, very top left corner and uh, stores in right like it it becomes easy if you have to store the information in right uh, like column and row and column format here we have inserted the default values for the uh, for the uh, form so one, once i will run the program uh, run the application you will see that the values are already inside the entry boxes so that becomes little handy and uh, this code is also not required because we have used it inside the function so now uh, i am fetching the information from this entry box over here using the get method so emp name dot get means uh, what, whatever information that user has inserted in that entry box will be fetched and stored in the variable with the name ename same is done with all of these now once we have done that we have to change the uh, data type we have not changed it for the e name because we want it as a string rest all of them we have changed we have changed to float and we have reassigned the variable so now we are using the small names over here so gross uh, gross salary it will be rate per hour multiplied by the number of hours the person has done the duty and similarly all of these things that we have explained in for the cli one now here we have used the form uh, the function that we have created over here so you can see that the module name is cal uh, sal dot pi and the function inside it is payslip so we have used that and this function accepts these many uh, parameters so we have uh, created over here that these many parameters are required to run this function successfully so we have provided all these parameters and these parameters are not uh, like belongs to these ones these are the these things right over here just in handy way of doing things i know uh, there could be a better way to do that and please uh, i would love to see your comments uh, with your uh, github id uh, github id or some other place where you can show me like how how i can do this more uh, more efficiently then we have created a label in the end we have created buttons and and the most important thing you have to mention the ws dot main loop for tick enter like it holds the screen otherwise you won't be able to see the screen it will be too fast so let's go ahead and run the program so you can see uh, the information is already inside this uh, fields because we have provided the default uh, default information inside the uh, entry boxes so here zero means the position of it position so zero at like it's very starting from it now let me click on the calculate button and one more thing you can uh, you guys can uh, notice let me run it once again 
I have clicked on calculate button and the uh, form has generated right over here. It has not generated here, here or here. It has generated here. It is because this thing you can control it right over here. Okay, so the form uh, when I created this form. So right over here, this is for the uh, width of this window and this is for the height of the window. And this position is decides where you want to put it on the screen. So 500 plus 200, that means this position. So once I have clicked on the calculate button, you can see the name of the empl employee information. That is name of the employee, rendered hour, gross salary, rate per hour, and then the deductions are mentioned over here. You can click on the close button. If you will click on the exit button, it will close both, both the windows. But if you will click on the close button, it will just simply click on this, this button. So in case if you want to change the information, you can go ahead and change it from here and click on calculate once again. So this time the information different information will be displayed let's close it you can clear the window you can exit the by clicking on the exit button all right guys so with this we have learned how to create a pay slip generator using python and both the ways like console based and uh, tick enter that is gui based i hope you like the video in case if you like the video please uh, click on the like button and do subscribe our channel for more videos like this one thank you for watching have a great day bye